Hey guys, O Janelle here, and for those of you that follow me on my Instagram, you do know that I had them faux locks, and they came out within six days. And I want to talk to you guys about why. So um, I didn't have my camera, but I filmed I filmed some footage on my phone, so I'm going to insert that right here. So um, as far as protective styling is concerned, here's the thing. I get that you're, you know, protecting your hair and doing whatever, whatever, but how is it really protective styling if you're damaging your scalp? Like ladies, y'all have to be so careful with these installs of these lace fronts and these sew-ins and these crochets. Um, I don't know what my downfall was. It could have been the simple fact that I haven't had any kind of weave in my hair in like almost three years or it could have just been the fact that it was too heavy it could have been the fact that I was having an allergic reaction to whatever chemicals they put on the hair to preserve it it could have been anything so um I liked them I thought they were super cute I liked like having the ability to just wake up in the morning and not do anything with my hair but like when I tell you guys like the way my aunt braided it, it wasn't tight. And I told her like, yo, don't braid them too tight because I have a really sensitive scalp. Usually when you get your hair braided, your eyes be like this. My eyes was not like this, so I didn't think it was that bad. The first day that I had them in, they were just heavy. Like I had over 132 something like freaking dreads in my hair. That's way too much, like there's a lot of hair. So the first day that I got them in, well, First, I put them in that night. The next day, I got up and I finished applying um, the rest of the crochets. They were heavy, but whatever. I was just like this, like, they were fine. They weren't bothering me. The second day, they were still heavy, but you know, whatever. I was getting used to it. I was playing with the styles. I was twisting them. I was doing whatever. I went to a party. I, I did a little braid and put a little ponytail. It was cute. No biggie. I'll insert a photo of that here. Um, the third day it started itching a little bit and that's normal you know when you get a weave that don't be itching because you can't get air to your scalp like you normally would so you know I did the classic hat I was alright the fourth day the itching was just like oh this is getting bad and I'm trying my best not to scratch it so I was like sitting on my hands and instead of like scratching I would pat it the fourth day I was just like bruh this thing is itching me and it won't even stop. So instead of patting, I would just put my finger where I could and just gently like massage um, tea tree oil into the areas that were bothering me. It started to get a little red and irritated, but I was like, maybe I was just massaging too hard. It could have been whatever. My scalp was swollen. It was like red. It just was red and it looked disgusting. By day five, I had like scabs forming at my scalp it wasn't like dandruff it was like actual scabs that like were peeling off in like little hard chunks it was pretty gross so now i'm kind of concerned because i'm like all right well i'm trying to man up and just go ahead and let it rock it could me just being it could be me just being dramatic but that sixth day i couldn't even focus how much it was burning and itching me like i came home from where was I? I was on a red eye flight. I came home and instead of like going to sleep or whatever, I took that junk out my head. Like I took it out right away. So it, it just had to come out. I couldn't deal with it. Um, I took it out and I decided let me just leave the braids in for a while and try to take care of those. Cause I had like scalps. I had scabs in between my braids and I didn't wanna go sit there and try to unbraid it with my scalp being so sensitive and there being scabs knotted up in my hair. So I left it. Um, I went online and I looked up a couple things to remedy my irritated scalp and I tried witch hazel. So when I would apply the witch hazel, I put in a spray bottle, I shook it up and I would just spray my scalp and I tried not to itch it. Like it scratched for maybe three days after that. Um, after I did the witch hazel, the only thing that really helped was me using Selsin Blue. Let me show you what I use. Okay, so this is the Selsun Blue medicated with menthol maximum strength. Maximum strength dandruff shampoo, tough on dandruff, great for hair. All I knew was like this stuff was medicated and I was getting desperate. Um, so what I would do is I would 
put conditioner in my hair because this stuff will have you all types of dry. I put conditioner in my hair and then I put this on my scalp and I would just let it sit there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Damn, son. I would, <laughs> thank you. I would let this sit on my scalp for 10 minutes and then right before I rinsed it out, I would just gently try to massage it into my head. And then I would just um, deep condition because when I say this made my hair dry, it made my hair so dry like it's just starting to come back to life so this kind of saved my life i did this for three days i would do two shampoos let it sit for 10 minutes rinse it out deep condition and then i repeat it for three days and i finally got to a point where my scalp was not itching anymore so then once i got there i went back to my wash and go in those days that i wasn't i was literally like leaving my hair in a plastic wrap and throwing my wig on that bad boy and just letting that deep conditioner marinate because I really needed to get that moisture back into my hair. Anyway guys, talk about a mess. Like, I don't know, but I really want to kind of try the faux locks again, but I think the next time I will um, braid them myself only because I braid super terrible and really loose. And then instead of putting like, for example, like, I think I had one, two, three, four. I think I had eight. Instead, I would do less. And instead of putting like 10 dreads per braid, I would do like six and just space them out a little better. And then use the second type of hair that I had because it was much lighter. Um, I just think it was a t combination of mixing the two hairs. That junk was so heavy. So, we'll try again. I'll put a lot less hair. I'll put bigger braids. So, at least this way, if I gotta take that thing out real quick, it's gonna be easy. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are going to dupe those protective styles, make sure you protect your scalp. Because if your scalp is messed up, your hair ain't gonna grow. Okay? Alright, till next time. Love you. You're running, I'm running.